Which is the best dividend stock to buy? The Home Depot stock, Starbucks stock, Apple stock, or Microsoft stock? I'm going to evaluate these four dividend stocks across four different financial metrics to determine which one is the best dividend stock to buy in this video. You'll get the answer by the end. You're not going to want to miss that. So stay tuned and let's begin. Starting with the dividend yield, looking at this metric, Home Depot offers investors the highest dividend yield among these four at 2.7%. Next is Starbucks at 2%, followed by Microsoft at 0.95%, followed by Apple in last place at 0.58%. But a few things to remember with the dividend yield. Investors can reasonably expect these four stocks to continue increasing their dividend payment over time. As their revenue grows, as their earnings grow, these companies will continue increasing their dividend payments over time. So if you're buying the stock today, you're getting a certain dividend per share today, that's likely to increase incrementally over the next several years. So especially when you're a dividend stock investor, you're looking for long-term increases in the dividend payment as well as whatever the current dividend payment is. Additionally, dividend stocks sometimes offer you a very nice capital gains return, meaning you buy the stock at a certain price today and that price increases over the next five years or the next 10 years or whatever your investment horizon might be. And so it provides a nice one-two punch for dividend stock investors. You get a nice dividend return and you get nice stock price appreciation if you're fortunate and you do your due diligence and you pick good dividend stocks to own for the long term. And certainly we've selected four really good dividend stocks here. I think any investor, any dividend stock investor would be um, prudent if you were owning all four of these stocks, let alone just one. But in this video, we're going to pick which one is the best one to buy. The next thing I wanted to compare these four dividend stocks on is their revenue growth annually. And looking at this metric, Microsoft had the highest in their recent uh, completed year at 18%. Next is Starbucks at 10.98%, followed by Apple at 7.79% and Home Depot in last place at 4.13%. Um, over the longer term here, I would say uh, Microsoft and Apple have the best growth expectations over the next decade. Um, but just in the near term over the next year, I might say that Starbucks has the best growth expectations given that it's benefiting from a couple of tailwinds. Number one, well, the same tailwind in two different regions, right? The continued reopening in the U.S. That's fueling revenue growth at existing Starbucks locations as people are going out more often. They're uh, visiting Starbucks locations more often and buying more of their, their products and, and drinks. And then the Chinese economy has just begun their reopening and that's Starbucks second biggest geographical location where they have the second uh, in highest number of sales. But also uh, that's the primary area Starbucks is growing. That's where they're adding the most locations is in China. So with the economy reopening, that's going to reduce the headwinds from store development, store openings, right? Because lockdowns made it harder for Starbucks to open new locations. Now they've got that one-two punch happening where they got reopening locations and um, new store developments. And that's going to fuel a nice boost in Starbucks sales and profits over the next uh, one to three years as you know that's how long it takes for the economic reopening to gain momentum at least that's how long it took here in the US to really gain steam here next I wanted to look at the operating profit margins of these companies going back a decade and looking at this metric Microsoft is significantly ahead at an operating profit margin of 40.58 percent 
followed by Apple at 29.4%. And this makes sense. The types of products and services that Apple and Microsoft sell allow them to charge premium prices with competitive advantages that allows them to reap these premium operating profit margins. That's good news if you're a dividend stock investor because that means a greater percentage of the sales turn into profits and dividends are paid out of profits so the greater the profits the greater the potential for dividend growth next is home depot at an operating profit margin of 15.27 percent finally starbucks at an operating profit margin of 13.67 percent in its most recent year although management has said it aims to recover back to an operating profit margin near 18 percent over the next couple of years as it um, as it uh, exits these headwinds from the COVID-19 pandemic. It's still not out of the woods yet from the pandemic. It's still experiencing headwinds from the pandemic. So as those recede, it's going to continue increasing its operating profit margin near the 18% level. Finally, I wanted to look at valuations of these four dividend stocks and looking at the forward price to earnings ratio, Starbucks is the most expensive right now at 29.5. Next, you have Microsoft at 29. Then you have Apple at 26. And the cheapest is Home Depot at 18.24. And that makes sense. Home Depot faces a greater amount of headwinds right now because home improvement spending is less popular as the economy started reopening and people spent a lot of money on home improvement when we were cooped up indoors for the last couple of years i mean the same can be said with apple and microsoft people spent a lot of money on their products when we were cooped up at home and that's lessening to a degree as economies reopen but home depot is facing a bigger degree of headwinds from that trend going forward so if I had to pick one of these four dividend stocks to buy right now and hold for the next several years, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. I'm going with Microsoft. I'm going with Microsoft stock here. I think the premium valuation here at 29 being one of the most expensive of these four, I think it's well deserved considering it's very good operating profit margins, it's healthy, healthy revenue levels and long-term prospects. So I would go with Microsoft stock here out of these four dividend stocks. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I've hand selected a few videos that I think you will enjoy. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching.